Hey everyone, welcome to the interview prep section of this course. This is all about how to absolutely ace the analyst interview. And when it comes time for the interview, there's one thing to keep in mind. This is your time to shine. Remember that the interview is your chance to prove to employers that you have the experience, the personality, the technical ability, and the problem solving skills to succeed on the actual job. So a couple personal tips that I've found helpful to try to get into the interviewing mindset. Number one, be confident. Remember, if you've made it to the interview phase, that's great news. It means that employers already think that you're likely a good fit for the role. Number two, easier said than done, but try to relax. Be yourself. Remember that ultimately you want to come across as someone who people would love to work with. That's just as important as showcasing your hard technical skills. Third, remember, don't think of the interview as this one directional test or exam. Think of it like a two-way conversation or a dialogue to gauge mutual fit. Remember, you're assessing the company and the role just as much as they are assessing you. Last but not least, can't stress this enough, don't wing it. Rehearse common questions, brush up on your skills, practice solving technical cases and root cause analyses, Bottom line, make sure you prepare for the interview. Next up, let's take a minute to talk about some of the qualities that interviewers are actually looking for. First, they're looking for cultural fit. And basically, that means answering a simple question. Would we enjoy working with this person on the job, day in, day out, 40 hours a week? Of course, they're also looking for technical skills. Will this person be able to effectively use the tools required to succeed in this role. They're also looking for general quantitative problem solving ability. This is especially important for the analyst interview. So can you prove that you can think strategically and logically and that you can solve the same types of business problems that you're likely to encounter in the role? Next, they're looking for curiosity and learning ability. This is really important. Do you show a passion for growth? Do you show an aptitude for learning? Do you come across as someone who's eager to build new skills? These are really important attributes to showcase during the interview. They're also looking for business acumen. Do you understand the business of the role you're applying for? Do you understand the industry, at least at a high level? That business acumen is really important as well. Next up, you've got communication skills. I can't stress this one enough. Can you communicate clearly and effectively? Can you distill complex or technical topics in a way that a non-technical person can understand. Being able to do that is really important to be a strong analyst or business intelligence professional, and showcasing that skill during the interview is huge. Last but not least, interviewers are looking for enthusiasm. The last thing you wanna do is show up flat, sounding tired, not really passionate or excited to be there. You wanna come across as someone who is genuinely excited about the opportunity and hungry to dive in and start adding value for the business. So next time you walk into an interview, if you can showcase all of these qualities or attributes, you will be in fantastic shape. Next up, let's talk about some common interview phases. Now, interviews might look different depending on the role or the company or the industry that you're applying to, but generally speaking, what we see is that most interviews consist of at least two phases the screener interview, and the core team interviews. So for screener interviews, you're likely meeting with just one person. It's usually over the phone or during a virtual meeting. These screeners are typically not IT or analytics people, but rather members of the HR or hiring team. So for that reason, they're not gonna grill you on more of the technical topics. Instead, the conversations are likely to focus more on your background, your skills, your resume, and why you're interested in the role and why you think you're a good fit. You should expect the conversation to last typically 30 to 45 minutes, and this is important. Be prepared to ask some thoughtful questions about the role. This is a great opportunity to show your enthusiasm and demonstrate that you've done your homework and understand the job requirements. On the flip side, you've got the core team interviews. For these, you're likely meeting with multiple people, usually two to five different stakeholders in the hiring process. Now, sometimes you'll be asked to meet everyone during one single day, 
Other times it's phased out over the course of days or sometimes even weeks. But these interviews typically include the people you'll be working with and potentially reporting to, along with other potential peers and sometimes even senior leaders of the business. Compared to the screener interview, these conversations tend to be focused much more on the technical job requirements. They focus on skills, on cases, on problem-solving ability, but you can expect some cultural experience and fit questions as well. For these core team interviews, typically you can expect to spend at least 30 to 60 minutes per person, although some sessions will be considerably longer, especially for technical assessments or case studies. Now, a quick pro tip here about thank you notes. This is kind of a controversial topic. Our philosophy is that you should always send a thank you note, whether it's a screen or a core team interview. And the reason we say that is that there's literally no downside. It takes five to 10 minutes of your time. It's gonna give you an easy leg up over those who don't send a thank you note. And the other reason why we love thank you notes is that it provides a great opportunity to reiterate why you're such a great fit for the role and also address anything that you might not have had a chance to cover in the interview itself.